Good afternoon to you. First of all, you're looking sharp. Secondly, I'm not showing what you're eating. Tell me what you think about it. This has not been pre-recording. Hold on, it's Raphael's turn. It's very great. Very, Especially very good? The, do you want me to say it because you're not showing it? What do you think about the flavors of that meal? It tastes great. It's like, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff in it. it and even it's really has ah, the definition of a salad. A bunch of stuff in it. And what do you think about your food? Let it's me know. very good. You actually love this? The are my favorite part. What kind of salad is this? Super uh -oh. salad. Super salad. Yes. Super salad. Super is really solid. This is one of the most odd combinations that I've ever made for the kids. But to me it makes sense. And it's all their favorite flavors. And it's making this one eat fish fillets, which she normally doesn't appreciate. But how much do you like this salad? Before I say what's in it. 10 of 10? Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. And that's genuine right there. Now, what we have in it is similar to yesterday's meal. We have Israeli salad, so tomato and cucumber with black pepper and salt. We added Swiss cheese cubes, thinly sliced, very thin this time, so it's easy to eat. And we added swai or sway? Swai fillets? Fish fillet, basically. <laughs> I put some grilled seasoning on that and cooked it for 25 minutes just so it's nice and, and uh, juicy, not burnt. And we added some raisins and crumble goat cheese on that as well. I let the salad sit first so the raisins get very juicy too. And the raisins are to give the sweet so it's not so bland on the fish side. I know raisins normally don't go and I usually wouldn't do that pretty much ever. It's the first time I've done that. But I figured that would be a good addition. What do you think? Can I say something? Look at my tooth now! And now it's completely gone! Yeah. Do you think raisins were a good move? Yeah, and I also wanted to tell you guys about my schoolwork. At, m at least I have 55 to 56 percent complete mm -hmm. in social studies. Very, very good. And at most I have 59. And that's progress. Students. More than that, actually. Alright, so I'm going to leave you guys to it because we are leaving to town. Mommy has a doctor's appointment. We okay. can open the park! Alright, the season's changing again because there were uh, wasps or whatever, yellow jackets all over the car, and now there's ladybugs all over the car. And there's the third one. Hmm. All right, and the fourth one. Did they hatch out over here? I don't know. I don't see no bees or yellow jackets. Anyway, we're about to leave. So as you may know, I have an addiction to ice and it is caused by having low iron. Uh, we recently found out when my aunt was diagnosed with a blood cancer that our family has a rare genetic blood disorder. So that is the reason why I slept for like a year, um, 18 to 20 hours a day. And I have already had one, well I had one iron infusion in Israel and I had one here, but it's been like six months. Has it been six months since I got that one? Probably, yes. And I'm getting an intense craving for ice again where where like I have to have it like a drug um, It's like my mouth My mouth needs a I don't know. It's so it's so weird But when I'm good on iron, I don't have this at all and I didn't eat popsicles at all because like I don't I don't like to eat ice because it damages your teeth, so I've always like stayed away from that and just had like a couple pieces here and there. Can confirm, about three weeks ago she starts craving it so much that she eats a whole package for like less than a week. A whole package. And then I'm like accusing people, did you eat my popsicles? Where's my popsicles? Why can't you find my popsicles? Where's my popsicles? <laughs> so, it's excessive. It's excessive.
So um, I do want to do a couple crafts around the house with about 5,000 popsicle sticks, and I'm not kidding. And that's only when I started to save them because I didn't save them for like a year. But Abigail wanted to save them, so I was like, okay. So we put them, we put them in a, a bag, and I have an entire bag full plus a drawer full. So we could do, we could do some crafts with that. But now I know it's, you know, it's, it's the iron thing, and yeah. I'm probably just gonna have to do this for the rest of my life. Go like Once every six months or something and get an infusion. Uh, but I hate going to this doctor because the people are so mean. And last time I was there, I cried. They're, they're, they're literally mean, literally mean. I told her, my veins go crooked. So I'm like, okay, well, my vein goes this way. Just because it's nice to tell people when you have a, an enormous arm and your connective tissue is bad, uh, it's good to tell people which way your veins go so they don't, they don't over in, inject you and come out the other side and that's exactly what she did so when uh, she was giving me my infusion it it burned and she laughed at me she went she took another co-worker back and I heard them talking about me and she laughed at me and I literally sat there in excruciating pain because this stuff is going into my body not in my vein and I had to call out 15 minutes later I'm here and this is still not in my vein. I said, you just need to pull it out just a little bit. It went all the way through and it's going into my arm. And it was literally burning me. So I was like, the and the reception woman is so mean. Like, she, first of all, I had an appointment which I had a card for that was written down and she's like, you don't have an appointment. But they literally wrote it down on their card. And, uh, then I had to wait to get in, even though I did have an appointment. But every time I go up here, I'm here for like two or three hours for nothing. Well, but that's not the case today. I, I'm dreading this appointment. I just hate going there because because of that incident. Like, why why would you make fun of somebody who's literally telling you they're in pain because you went too far in the needle? I don't know. That's that's not a nurse to me, or a phlebotomist, or whatever they're doing there but that's that's not a healthcare worker to me so there's all of their friends walking down the road going home i fixed my fear because of this girl her eyes scare me her eyes scare you at night but she's actually protecting you yeah True. Mm -hmm. abigail told me that abigail's that doll it looks like she told me that an eyeless girl walking down the road Looking an at eyeless me. girl. She's got eyes, but looking at night, at, me. It, at night, it, she might not look like she's got eyes. But looking she's got at eyes. Me down the highway, walking and singing. Scale. Yeah, she she did have a broken leg, and she's gonna do just fine like you did. Yes, I cried a lot on this. I didn't cry on ah, the scale. Ah, 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 yeah. I didn't cry on the scale for some reason. No. Oh. We he canceled before. my appointment. Yeah, we've been here before. This is a water park and a, uh, not a water park, uh, but it's, it's got water in it. Nature, nature park, park and a bicycle park. They got some bicycle things and a walking park. Yeah, and look wow, look what you found. Wow. That's dangerous. <laughs> Natural swing. Is that a vine? Wow, it is. Look, that's how, a look vine? how it goes all the way up right here. Wow, that's, that's cool. Swingy, here, sit with uh, Abigail and take a picture. That's a lot of weight. Here, you got your phone. Yeah, take a picture. Right. Anyway, yeah, so he canceled my appointment. <laughs> so I have another oh. week to dread, but it's fine. I'll only dread one day for five hours to get one blood test, but we'll be good. It's pretty hard, too. <laughs> there was literally no one there. I think everybody was sick. She was like, I was like, oh, I just need a blood test. She said, oh, but there's no one here. Like, there's no one here <laughs> but her. It sounds scary. Very reliable. Yeah, that's the bike park over there. It's a little, a little scary. I don't know. It's squeaky. It was brand new when we first came here. <laughs> screw some screws in a little bit. Yeah, you can walk out here, go to that little bike park. We ate a big old submarine sandwich here. Yeah, I have a picture from that. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, here, we'll show you. 
Yeah, we did. I'll show you this. It's very, very pretty down here. Oh, God. And it's like such a secret, too, you know? It's so, so nice. Oh, an animal could live in that. What? Ooh, is this composite wood? Oh my goodness, I think it is. It's fake wood. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I bet animals are living in there. I wouldn't want to touch it. There's some of the water there. I'd love to go down in there. Ooh, it smells like water down here. It smells like something's rotten. Too scared. No, come here. It's fine. Oh, it won't break. You can speak about how cooler it is here. What? Even What's that? Deeply. What is that? Looks like a a bag. A blossom of a plant. Is it a big? No. Oh, so look at all the rock. Oh, there's our house. Yeah. That's our bug out place when we <laughs> yeah we right can here. fish and swim and take a bath and. Yeah, this is tail. <laughs> this is tail. It's not. This is a spring, so it's always moving and it's always 72. Hey, there's a hole in this fence. Don't walk in there. Yeah, Good lord. Yeah, it smells pretty bad actually. Um, but this is a spring, so it's always 72 degrees year round. Look at that. It's a minnows or something. Or bugs on top of the water acting like a minnow. I can't see, but maybe the camera will see when I'm editing. So this is Scott Springs, and it's right in front of Walmart. Very nice and peaceful. I bet some people have been in there just hanging out. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't go in there just to hang out. Actually, if I zoom in, there's probably people in there right now. Is there people in there? Can I see anything? Is there animals in there? I see something in the left corner. I don't know. What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> Two. Before three. We there's a bunch of people here. That is a huge thing. I haven't seen this before. Huge little tree house. Big tree house. And they got a bunch of other stuff too. She's on the seesaw. So, Dad, if you have a seesaw thing, let me have it so I can put a piece of wood on it. <laughs> we gave Grandma the little seesaw thing, but it, they were outgrowed it, so... She could ask after you'll do that way. Yeah. Day seven of a fast, thinking about cooking uh, ribeye steaks on the stovetop or the grill. Doesn't matter to me at this point. And I cooked that meal for the kids. That's really what I'm craving is salad and fish. So I think I'm gonna go low carb naturally. Not gonna force myself into it with maybe a little bit of cheese added. I don't know if that'll work for ketosis. I'm not even trying to achieve that. But if I could keep it, that'll be good for me to Basically come back. Whole foods. Yeah, to, to come back from fasting, that's very good. And that's really what I'm craving. I cannot have coffees anymore. I'm having coffee aversions. It's just, just it makes me feel bad and disgusting. You know what? It tastes disgusting to me I'll at this tell point. You a story. And There's the tea this too. Woman who was trying to be rude to me. She was like, it was when we were in Israel and we were like eating one ingredient foods, which is called whole foods. And then she's like, oh, what do you eat? And I was like, oh, we just basically eat whole foods. And then she's like, well, that's too expensive. Why are you going to whole foods? I'm well, like, oh, my God. Yeah. So. Was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not store-bought fish sticks, but for me, it'll be basically fish if I can. I got beef a lot if I can. of fish stocked up. I got like four bags yeah. of fish, different types. I'll probably have, have buy one, get one. I have pork as well. I'm not discriminating the meat or fat. I just, yeah. what I really need to do is work out more. It's hard, exercise. It's hard when you're 40 minutes away from anywhere uh, viable. But I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. Because my body just doesn't get rid of calories. It's very unfortunate. My body doesn't get rid of fat. It just turns it into a yeah. disease. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good deal all. Good, good time fun. But uh, this park is very similar to Israeli parks, isn't it? Yeah. Out in the nature. It's pretty nice. The thing is, it's flat here, right? The parks we went to are on mountains that are similar to this, with this kind of... Careful! Wood. It is a whirlwind. Go catch him! Go catch him! 
No one's after me. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Raphael. You're trying to bait someone to run into you? Yeah. To run after Instead you? Instead of doing that with the little kids, you can just play on the toys. So you don't okay. then say that I didn't get to play the toys. Go ahead and play on toys. Yeah, go ahead and play with toys. Abigail's on the spinny thing. She's sitting. There she is. Oh, she's on the move. Uh, all her friends want to go somewhere else. She's like, come our, on, guys. All our Bedouin friends, the other park. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve of them. <laughs> yeah. Going crazy. Some of them spin off. Actually, get hurt. Oh yeah, they they're keep going. They really go. Raphael used to like that one. Yeah. He likes to go crazy on that. One of them they got hurt on, or somebody got hurt on. They flew off of it. <laughs> Bedouin. Are yeah, they're they're really the really spinny. Of kids. Yeah, they have no rules, so they're just like, yeah. But well, that park was great. Free range that kids. Best park we've ever had. Yeah, it was super good. They must have spent like five million dollars building the that one park. The one was unmaintained. It's a problem. But that one had a bike bike trail. It had the pond with the yeah. angel ducks. Angel wing ducks. Yeah. yeah. Oof. It had a canteen. Did you see that? No. It like, had like a camera might. Okay. Yeah, it had everything. Like, yeah. it, it was the most amazing park. It was three Almost stories like a, tall yeah. of all kinds of climbing things. I w actually went up to two with Raphael. The very tall one when Raphael tried to get back up from the bottom and everybody yelled at him. Yeah. The park was yelling at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually like 15 feet, the slide. Yeah, it's, it's enormous. And you can't see anything. Like this, this is a one layer slide, yeah. right? Well, there, it was like three of these all the way up. It was so crazy. And like everyone was there in the nighttime. Everyone. Yeah. It was amazing. It's it was cool. nice. It's nice. It's shaded that is. And it was very close to our house where we lived. It's literally three minutes. If now. we could have bought that house, I think we would have. But would have at a time, but he wanted too much for it. He wanted a million shekels, uh, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. And that's before all the other arrangements. Well now it's even house, more in it that had neighborhood. New, new air conditioner, but the ducting was bad, so it was wet. It actually leaked in our house yeah. and ruined And something. that house was so, so small. You go look back at those It videos. was so tiny. Go Two bedroom, back. one bath. Yeah. And, but I loved it. Yeah, it was my favorite was house no in Israel. Hallway. It was very compact. Yeah. It wasn't just small, it was compact. So everything I loved was it. there. You didn't have to go anywhere. The you floor tile bedroom. was so hideous. Oh yeah. It was a hideous tile. But if tile. you made it into like a, a modern house. Oh yeah, it'd be, be beautiful. Great. You don't need anything. Yeah, you need I love it. more, one more kitchen cabinet to put our yeah. stove in because we didn't have a stove. We didn't have a stove. We had a board. But, and a fridge, you know, was protruding. Best fridge in our lives. But yeah. Give that to my dad. Help he's happy with it. Oh yeah, it was a nice fridge. I like our fridge any. now though. You know that? What? It was a kosher fridge. Oh yeah. Because it would stop working on Shabbat if you timered it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, it was actually Sharp is the brand. <laughs> Better not stop working on that Shabbat. Was incredibly good I got I got a freezer full of ice cream and ice pop uh, ice the first popsicles. Day they put it in and odd. The apartment is brand new, looking yeah. great. Andrea also painted the kitchen. And then you look at that dingy old fridge we had yellow, disgusting small thirty year old fridge. Yeah. And then we put in the new one. It was just Oh, right. so nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh they had somebody walking our dog there. I've seen two or three dogs here so far. Well, if you're looking to do things on a budget without yeah. paying for it, you should definitely look at uh, Andrea's videos. Oh yeah, we do a bunch of stuff that are free, but it's actually really fun and, and entertaining and learning for the kids. So we're gonna go on some field trips here pretty soon too. It's gonna be fun. A red moon. We just talked about the blood moon today with Abigail yeah. in the lesson. We talked all about the moon today. And the omen that comes with it. And there you go. Uh, we better get home. You got people behind me, sorry. That is but awesome though. It's awesome to see in person. It awesome looks very, 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 very red important. in person. This is, is kind of looking on yellow. Is it a good omen or a bad omen? There Probably no bad. Omens. How about that? Bad. Omen. omen is always bad. It, ain't, it isn't good. If you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. Hey, mommy. Every time you paint, you make a beautiful. Thank you. It is horrible. We got to exercise and play all while mommy is shopping. Abigail, you film. I'll try and finish my pie. Everyone, Abigail is a business now.